Humans may have been using copper for over 5,000 years, but today we're beginning to use this ancient material in new and exciting ways. My name is Keith Klentz. I am CEO of Advanced Motor Tech. Efficiency is a very big part of what goes into making a good electric motor. And the first place that we make motors more efficient is basically by trying to put more copper in the same amount of space or creating more space for more copper to fit. As we use more and more copper, it means that the energy cost is lower over the life cycle of the motor. And that's the type of economic choice we really want to be making. Trust me, if there was a better conductor than copper out there, we would be using it and we would be asking our clients to use it. My name is Michael Schmidt. I'm a microbiologist at the Medical University of South Carolina. Globally, we know that over a thousand people will die each day from a hospital-associated infection. So we began to strategically place copper in those critical areas around the patient. It was literally like turning on a light. Not only did it lower the concentration of bacteria by 99.9%, the infection rates plummeted. My name is Gustavo Mañez, and I'm project manager at the United Nations Environment Program. Climate change is real. There's no question about it. The question is, what is the most promising path to doing something about it? And the response is energy efficiency. We are excited about copper because it makes products more efficient. So copper helps us to make our world more sustainable. I'm Ron Benioff. I manage multilateral or global programs at the National Renewable Energy Lab. It's absolutely vital that renewable energy technologies perform at the highest level possible at, at lowest cost. Copper is essential to the future of renewable energy because copper is one of the most efficient thermal electrical conductors we have, and it's a vital part of our renewable energy future. My name is Lauren Gritsky, and I focus on international energy efficiency. Energy demand is growing, especially in the developing world, where half of the buildings have yet to be built. Buildings consume about 40% of primary energy consumption throughout the world. The more copper that's used in a building, the more energy efficient it is. It basically does more with less energy. My name is Gustavo Mañez. My name is Keith Glantz. My name is Lauren Gritsky. I'm Michael Schmidt, and copper makes my world work better. And copper makes renewable energy work better. Copper makes my world work better.